WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks. Well, today is the Fed Day. They'll be coming out here just about an hour and five minutes or less to tell us what they're going to be doing. The market's under a little bit of duress today. Uh, we have the S&P down quite a bit. We just bounced off one standard deviation in the S&P, folks, at 38.25, which was a uh, you know really important number. And then that also happened in the NASDAQ. It was one standard deviation. So that was the bottom so far. But with the Fed in there today, anything could happen, and it usually does. We have the bond market still in retreat. Gold market is still in retreat. Uh, crude oil is the one the complex for crude is the only one that is up uh, substantially all the rest of them uh, natural gas is up a little bit too but the, the rest of them are you know relatively uh, lower uh, based on that the euro the pound the dollar index is still acting uh, pretty o relatively okay it's still in an uptrend of course and the same thing with the big uh, part of that index which is also the Japanese yen you put the Japanese yen the euro and the pound together and, and the Australian, you got pretty much the whole dollar index. But anyway, it's, there's about 20 different uh, currencies in that cross rate, so some of them really don't, don't count very much. 53% of it, of course, is the euro, and we believe that we're going to go substantially below par. We're trading around 98 now. I think we're going to get down to sometime around 89 between now and the first of the year. I know that's a long timing uh, window, but uh, you know these markets are pretty active, and we should have some pretty good activity today, given the fact that the whole world is expecting our Federal Reserve to add, to add 0.75 uh, points to the uh, interest rates. So whether they do more or less remains to be seen. But the important thing that we talked about after the show is whether they're going to do quantitative easing or they're going to massage the yield curve and if they start massaging the yield curve folks get ready because it's going to get really wild everywhere so that means they're in a trap and they don't know what they're going to have to do to get out of it but it's going to be interesting for sure stay tuned for my show and we'll be happy to talk about some of these markets my guest today is kevin murphy he was a student of john ehrman who was working on ermanometry till the day he passed away. I, gosh, I guess it was about five, six years ago, but we'll be chatting with Kevin uh, at the half hour break about some of the things he's looking at. So we'll be right back. <laughs> 